I'm Isley McClure, one of your church interns this summer, um, in which I've enjoyed every moment of it so far. Um, but I'm just here to tell a little bit of my story up to, up to this point in time. Um, but in our church, you, uh, you grow up with a constant feeling of togetherness, and it's just something we instill from a young age. And um, you can, it, through things such as youth group on every Sunday night, um, multiple youth trips um, from 6th grade to 12th grade, or sometimes even, even past that if you come um, back as an intern. Um, and as, our, as was our motto for a weekend uh, at Winter Retreat two years ago, um, we, we believe that we're, we're better together. And um, just like uh, eggs and bacon and um, stuff like that, we're, uh, we're better together. <laughs> so um, I, I always knew this to be what we believed and um, something I felt and um, always trusted as I grew up um, because, of, because of how much we believed in it. And, um, I, I, but things can often change when, when you go off to school uh, being off alone um, uh, by yourself for the first time, just living life in a, in a new home. And um, living, living the life of a devoted Christian, um, sometimes it's, it's not the common route, it's not, it's not the encouraged way in all, in all, in all times at, at this age, and it can be a lot very tough to stay true to that. Um, but due, um, due to that, it, it's easy to find yourself feeling, feeling alone and being, feeling like you're on an island with, um, without many others that are looking towards Christ. Um, along with you. So this is where I found myself kind of towards the beginning of school this, this last year. And, uh, um, but it, it all, it all kind of changed, uh, coming, coming to the spring semester, the more I got to know people and, um, found a church down, down, um, down at school and everything. But, um, as I planned for my face sharing today, I was reminded of a great new worship song that I, I've, I seemingly haven't been able to get on my head called Another in the Fire. And uh, I originally heard it many times in worship this spring and enjoyed it more and more each, with each listen. Um, but it wasn't until a friend of mine informed me of the, the story behind and wh- where, where the lyrics from the song were from. And it's from um, th- that it wasn't until that time that I um, really understood it fully and um, began to live into that and um, enjoyed, it, enjoyed the song even more to this day. Um, but it comes from, the story comes from Daniel chapter 3. And it says this, in which King, in, in, this, in this chapter, it says, King um, Nebuchadnezzar constructs a golden statue for all to worship and bow down at the playing of all kinds of music. But there were three Jews, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who um, refused to worship um, the idols and, and, and the gold statues. Um, but as the, um, as the king promised, anyone refusing to bow down was, was, was to be thrown in a, in a blazing furnace. But... So, um, these three Jews replied in Daniel chapter 3, verse 17, If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it. And sure enough, once they were thrown in the fire, which had been heated to seven times hotter than usual, the three Jews were unharmed. And as the king looked into the furnace, he exclaimed in verse 25, Look, I see four men walking around, and the fourth looks like a son of the gods. Um, so as uh, an angel of the Lord delivered, delivered those three Jews from, um, from, from burning up in the furnace. And uh, that's, it, it, as I read through this chapter, I was amazed at its uh, application to my life and, and faith journey in the recent months. Because uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes college and the fast, fast-paced life and being alone can kind of feel like a fire. And uh, if, you're, if you're not careful, you, you can burn right up. But um, you just, I, I, I use that as a reminder in this song and um, in this chapter um, as a reminder that God is kind of always with me. Um, so in the recent months, it provided me with the constant reminder that no, no matter how hard things may become, God is standing beside me in the fire. You all, my church family, remind me of the ways in which God is with me no matter what. For example, the Adopt a College Student program, um, in which provides um, uh, us college students with um, mail and gifts and, in my, in my instance, a lot of candy um, throughout, throughout the school year, um, with through the coming coming through the mail, and I, I I'm lucky to receive that from um, Pat Thompson, um, and the opportunity, and also the opportunity to serve as an intern this summer, and um, feel feel the love of this congregation and um, all the moving parts of this church. Um, I can feel it that way. But I've, I've I've observed each of these ways as a way God is um, with me no matter what, and um, no matter where I am. I, I can always feel that in the loves, love each of you guys show and um, I feel here at the church. So I thank you for that.